Yeah, you know, they have a lot of grip. So, so they're, they're better under control. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they don't really help them for Colorado. Greetings, Dr. Jeff Spencer with another tactic here. And what I want to do, share with you and show you is one of the SRM devices, which is a data collecting device on the bicycles of the riders. And what it does, it collects cadence, it collects watt outputs, it basically collects every parameter that the riders look at after the stage to be able to see how well they stepped up, what their biologic performance levels were is a comparison that can be used for a lot of important decision making and unless that ritual is done each and every day then a rider really doesn't know where they are and how to course correct from day to day which makes then it almost impossible to be able to put in the best efforts possible day in and day out without that data. It's exactly the same thing for us if we don't have some type of data dump at least at some point during the day to evaluate the day's performance then how do we create those course corrections that allow us to learn from the process in terms of what could have been done better and what's being done absolutely perfect and how do we chart our course and moving forward to be able to get to the next level with the least amount of time and effort and expense possible and each and every day the best time to do that is at some point after the work day is over and that's usually a time where people don't want to do that they've had enough of the day and they want to wash it off either by recreation family fun whatever but yet that's an important ritual and the time to do that is at the moment that the day is actually done before we transition into our recreation free time for ourselves because then it's really done and what it does also is that it downloads our brains and allows us to be able to get a sense of moving forward with accomplishment and also course corrections and uh, changes in uh, strategies and if we don't do that then there's this little gnawing voice in the back of our mind saying that something's incomplete and we're still a little bit wandering, so to speak, in terms of our precision to be able to move forward. And the sooner it's done, the better it is. And an ideal time to do that is sometime after work, perhaps even when exercising or before exercising during the drive home. But it really needs to be done in a very structured way where the goods and the bads and the uglies have to be looked at, have to be analyzed, courses of action need to be charted to be able to move forward with confidence and certainty that we're always continuing our evolutionary path to become the best that we can be. This is Dr. Jeff Spencer saying thanks for joining this tactic and as always do your homework, take a sneak preview of where you've been and where you're headed each and every day to make those pivotal course corrections that even though they may be 1% of your day can make a huge, a huge difference in your total output and performance. Until next time as always, ride big, ride strong, we'll see you next time.